ETFinalScore.com has East Texas high school sports covered. And now you can take it with you. Get the latest scores from Friday Night Football, articles and videos. Focus in on Dotney photo galleries and more. So don't miss a thing and get your ETFinalScore.com app today. Tonight on CBS 19, 10 at 10, how would you like to get a phone call from Warren Buffett? We'll show you how one teenager's act of kindness got him not only that, but an invitation to visit the billionaire investor in person. That's tonight on 10 at 10. Now on to the morning's top stories. Thanks, Justin. Good morning and welcome to this CBS 19 This Morning Update. I'm Dana Huey. And I'm Clint Yates. A family of five is found dead inside of a North Texas home. It happened just outside of Rice Sunday night. That's just south of Dallas. Deputies found the bodies of two adults and three children inside the home. Authorities say they do not believe a killer is at large. The investigation is being concentrated inside the home, adding that investigators do not have any reason to believe anyone else is involved. Detectives have not yet said how the family died. A fire that destroyed two garbage trucks will not dis disrupt trash pickup today. The fire happened just before 4 o'clock Sunday at GPS, a locally owned garbage pickup service in Smith County. Multiple fire crews worked for about two hours to get the fire under control. They used water, foam, and even a bulldozer to get to the fire. Pretty hard to get it out for a little while because one of the trucks was full of trash. One of them was empty. The company has two backup trucks. Fire crews are still investigating what started the fire. Looking ahead now, in August, Lindell ISD voted on a new tax rate for maintenance and operation that raised the tax rate, but overall the amount paid should go down. It has to be approved by voters, though, in early October. Early voting starts at the, Lasonic Ma at the Lindell Masonic Lodge today. The extra two cents per taxpayer for the increase will generate about $275,000 for the district. Caught on tape, a Macy's building that was once a Houston landmark is now just a pile of rubble. Yeah, the 10-story, 791,000 square foot building was demolished Sunday morning to make way for the development of a new retail site. The Macy's store closed back in March, 66 years after it opened as the Foley's department store there in Houston. A lot of shopping went mm -hmm. on there. Yeah. <laughs> Not anymore, though. I guess. Well, it is a gorgeous uh, Monday morning out there. Let's get over to Scott Fossey, see how long it will last. Scott. Clinton, Danny, your forecast today on this Monday. Fall temperatures in the air around the region this morning with temps hovering near 60 degrees. We'll be at about 63 at 8 a.m., upper 70s by lunchtime. Look for highs today to reach about 84, back down to 82 by 5, 530 this evening. There's an area of low pressure that's been developing over the last six to eight hours or so out in the northwestern corner of the Gulf of Mexico. We'll see additional development later today. It will help draw some moisture up into the I-10 corridor of southeast Texas mid-afternoon and by the this evening could see a stray shower or thunderstorm across deep east Texas. At least some additional clouds on the north side of that area of low pressure that will continue to weaken over the next 24 to 36 hours. Next weather system in the form of a weak cool front moving through the central plains. It drops in to pay parts of the Red River Valley a visit during the day tomorrow, but limited moisture for it to work with. Our next significant system arrives in here Saturday. We'll call for an increased likelihood for rain and scattered thunderstorms this weekend. All right, thank you, Scott, for the very latest all day long. Check out CBS19.tv or TylerPaper.com. And tune in later today for CBS19 News at 5, 6, and 10 at 10.